In the amazing and quaint town of York, Nebraska, sits one of the most unique places that you might ever have the chance to visit. Lee's Legendary Marbles is a hyper-focused, unique museum. It's a lifetime collection of marbles, and it's claimed to be the largest collection in the world. Admission to the Marble Museum is free. It's just all marbles. Well, kind of. They also have coins and antiques for sale, as well as some other random items to help keep the museum free and open to the public. Some say it's a cross between a marble museum, vintage coin vendor, and a Midwest flea market, similar to what some would find at an outdoor bazaar. Allegedly, if you get there early, you can meet the owner, Lee Batterton, personally. He started the collection in 1954. According to an interview, he said, Back then, the marbles cost a little bit of nothing. You could get 50 for a dime. Things are a bit more expensive now, especially since vintage marbles have become such a huge collector's item. Lee's legendary marbles date from the late 1800s till today. His favorite marbles are the rare Lutz marbles. A banded Lutz is a marble with a single colored base glass and two sets of bands alternating with two Lutz bands. Lutz is a finely ground copper flake or gold stone. The Lutz bands are usually edged by opaque white strands. The most common base glass in this marble is transparent clear. Transparent color base glass is rarer. Semi-opaque base glass, which may have a color, is very rare. And opaque base glass is also extremely rare. Glass cases line two very long walls in Lee's shop. Inside the display cases are the more expensive ones. Interestingly, overhead, there are hundreds of quart jars filled to their brims. There's marbles in vases, huge glass containers, and trays pretty much everywhere. And they're sorted by year, country, material, size, and of course their color pattern. Lee even has uranium glass marbles from the early 20th century. Lee's Legendary Marbles is typically open 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. daily off exit 353 on Interstate 80. And then just head north into the wilds of Nebraska just a little bit. Some call it obscure. Others call it unique. Many call it interesting. But there's no hiding that at its core is the heart of Nebraska. Do you know what happens if you drop a blue marble in the Red Sea? It sinks. These are Interesting Things with J.C.